Good morning and welcome to G Sport with me, Guy McDonald, Carl Wasey, and Tracy Lang. We're live on your radio on Good Hope FM and we're live on your television right here on SABC3. Ho, ho, ho! It's almost Christmas, everybody! <laughs> You'd actually make a oh, great Christmas Santa. Fruit. You yes. would, you would make a great Thank Santa. You. That's why I'm going to drive you crackers today. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I hope you have a ball of a time with G Sport. <laughs> That's but how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into G-Sport because there's no time like the present. Oh, yeah, yes, thank you so much. That's what you call festive cheese for ah, you, just ah, to start ah, us off. That's lovely. Okay, so let's start off though, because the thing is, right, the idea now is that one of the most popular gifts that you can give for Christmas is fragrance. And you match that with the top five sporting moments of the year, and you get a G-Sport festive classic. Ah. I'll kick it off with That's my right. favourite, mm. okay. the love of my life, Sebastian Vettel. He rose to new heights this year by winning the Formula One championship for the third time in a row. Whew. And I think his perfume should be Rose Vettel's oh. own oh. the title. Beautiful. That's right. That's right. That's Fantastic, right. Fantastic. Eh? Hey, this is wonderful. Happy. People are obviously racing out to buy that. Uh, anyway, uh, from uh, one racer to another. Uh, Chad Leclerc yeah. doing amazing stuff. In fact, doing unbelievable stuff for uh, South Africa. Beautiful boy. Winning gold in the uh, Olympics, beating Michael Phelps. And of course, he's recently just won two more medals at the uh, World Short Course competition. That's in correct. Turkey. <laughs> Good for uh, Christmas as well, to be in Turkey. <laughs> anyway. And uh, so Chad Leclerc could definitely do with a perfume. One that's really, well, there's, there's a couple of warnings with it. The first, Tracy, is that you shouldn't spray it with your eyes open because it could uh, lead to red eyes. Yeah. And the second, of course, is that you as a woman will definitely be pulled towards him with mm. Le Chlorine. Oh. Mm. And the new male fragrance from Chad Le Chlorine. I'm glad oh, you wow. just pulled that off Thank so you. beautifully. Yeah. So another sporting story that popped up this year was the fact that Oscar Pistorius, he was part of the Olympics. You know, as a double amputee to do that, it was groundbreaking and amazing and a South African first. So the idea here is to ensure that you get a good fragrance that inspires victory, that inspires the pure glory that Oscar Pistorius gave to us. And we'd like to say, you go Oz. You go. You oh, go. Right. That's right. You go Oz is a beautiful go. fragrance. It's, it's lovely. <laughs> and trust me, you'll enjoy it. Okay, let's go into the next one, shall we? Because yes. the thing is, everyone's looking at each other like, ah, what's that? I want Tracy so, to do something, yes. Here's another one. Okay. Like, here's another got one. It, got now, it, got it. recently, Juan Manuel Marquez knocked out Manny Pacquiao. It was a sad night for Manny Pacquiao because, I mean, he was like an undisputed, undefeated champion, but he got floored so, so badly. Oh. It, was, it was terrible. It was right? smacked. Hard. So the thing is, right, obviously when Manny was fighting, he thought it was like a little story, like a, maybe even a karate kid type of thing. Mm. But unfortunately, he got knocked to the ground. You know why? Manny Pacquiao. Asi Miyagi. Sorry, Manya. And that's why Asi Miyagi is the fragrance of Manny Pacquiao. Sorry, Manya. You got flawed. And that's how it goes. It's beautiful. A knockout fragrance. It's our top five sporting stories of the, of the, of the year, coupled up with fragrances. The number one sporting story for 2012 definitely has to be Lance Armstrong. Of course, Lance Armstrong has uh, been stripped of all his titles, including his uh, debating honours that he got in Standard 3. Uh, he lost those as well. And uh, <laughs> there was that badge for swimming that he got in school. Lost that as well. They've so, taken so everything. What's, so what's the fragrance? So the only fragrance is, is this, actually. Take a look. There we go. Oh. There's no title. That's right, Tracy. The title has been stripped <laughs> off the bottle. <laughs> it must smell pretty Armstrong, though, when you spray it. Armstrong. <laughs> smell it. It smell is it. just it's it's Armstrong, okay. right? Well, there. on that note, in the final G Sport of the year, I'd like to just finally say that as a G Sport team, you know, we've, we've been a sort of really colorful what we do, but at the same time, I'd like to tell Graham that um, he's been admiring my mohawk for a long time. Mm. And it's about time that I challenge Graham to do the same because that beautiful crop of hair of his needs to be destroyed, oh. just on the side. Destroyed! And that's why I'm saying to Graham, the challenge is, if you do not have your mohawk by tomorrow, there will be repercussions. Cushions. I accept that challenge. Cushions. What? Really? I accept your challenge, sir. Oh. Are you as sure? As my knees are showing on live TV, I accept your challenge, sir. Okay. Challenge okay. Accepted. So I have to say, just from all of Expresso, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you rule the roost, man. You rule the roost. Thank okay. You. I, accept that. I accept it. Thank you. <laughs>
Boomer Cracker. I wanted him to Boomer Cracker. That's it from us for G Sport as well. Not only for today, but also for the year. We wish you a blessed Christmas. Have an awesome and safe time with your family. Grant Hines is cooking something. <laughs>